with Lola, because she doesn't stay still long enough, I thought I won't do landscape. I'll just do it like this. So she'll probably be off in a minute. So as you can see, Lola has two collars on now. She has a large one to protect her wings. Um, and she has this one. She does chew it, as you can see. She fiddles with it. So she has a small one and a large one. And her feathers are coming back. But for some reason, Lola is a bit of a mystery. Because... She lets them all come back with the collar on and then as soon as you take the collar off she just pulls them all out. So this has been going on. So this has been going on with Lola for like a year now and um, following Lola's journey. The thing is with Lola with her feather plucking it is sort of getting worse rather than getting better. And I hate to actually say that but yeah with Lola mm. with the fact that I could leave her collar off all day. Um, and then just put it on at night so she was doing really well and leaving her feathers alone but now obviously she's got a double bubble of collar and so far she's had this collar on continuously for a whole month so I haven't even took it off and she is getting feathers what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the collar off now so you can see what she looks like so as you can see She's got all of her neck collars. See, she has all of her neck feathers at the moment and she's getting a lot on her tummy, as you can see. So, yeah, she's doing really, really well, but obviously we've still got to keep the collar on for at least another month before we can take it off for a little while and give her a break because they are coming through and I'm really impressed. But the trouble is, once they do come through and I do start taking the collar off, is she going to leave them alone or is it going to be exactly the same again that's the trouble with Lola and nobody knows why Lola's doing it that's the thing with fur plucking she's had all the tests and everything done and nobody knows why she's doing it they said it was probably a hormone imbalance but um she has touched wood she hasn't laid any eggs this year so I don't think it's that but yeah um yeah it's just a mystery I mean, I never thought in a million years that I'd have a parrot that plucked. And, you know, it's just one of them things. She has all the things... That, sorry, Lola, I was having an itch. Um, she has all the things that she needs. She has a really good environment. She has a really good diet. Um, and lots of people do say, oh, yeah, so she must be stressed. Or something must be happening. Or her diet's absolutely rubbish. Or she doesn't have enough time out. Or you don't give her enough toys on her any enrichment. I can tell you now, Lola's out a lot. And she has time in the cage, obviously. And she has enrichment. She has things to keep her busy. And, you know, she has a great diet. She eats really, really well. She has fruit. She has veg. She has sprouted mix. She, you name it, she has it. And then she still plucks. So it doesn't matter what you do sometimes sometimes you just end up with a bird that plucks and it's nothing you do it's just them so yeah so this is my little update on lola that's turned into a longer video because i do love talking as you probably can tell i do love talking about lola and feather plucking i just had to grab lola again because she wants to be off she doesn't want to sit on me she wants to go and have fun with barney and albert and everybody so yeah so that's a really quick video i'm gonna say goodbye before she flies again so thanks for watching everybody bye for now